Capturing great audio at a wedding can be a real minefield. You want to get the best sound you can during the ceremony, the speeches, the toasts, but you want to use the gear that you've already got in the best way. Today I'm going to take you through some tips, some hacks, some ways that you can get the best audio possible next time you're filming a wedding. Make sure you watch it to the end as I'm saving the best tips to last. Let's do it! So the first tip today is all about when you're doing recordings in a church. You may only have one recorder or you might be short on time and if you have like three or four people doing readings, you may not have time to go and mic them all individually. So what I recommend is have a chat with the priest or the vicar, find out where people are going to be doing their readings from and there's a good chance you'll find one of these, a lectern mic. So instead of micing up each individual person, all you need to do is mic the lectern mic. So, if you have a, a lav-based recorder such as this, the Tascam DR10, what you can do is just press record, get the little lav mic and just clip it near the top. It's important that you have it near the top as that's going to be the closest point to the mouth of the person who's speaking. That's going to get you great audio. So, with grateful hearts, let us rejoice and shout a hallelujah magnifying the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. However, if you've not got a lav mic, there's a very good chance you're gonna have one of these, the Sony TX650. And what you can do if you've got one of these is you can buy this. This is a mic sleeve. So all you do is you press record on your Sony, you slide it into the mic sleeve, and then with the lav mic, you can just wrap it round right near the top again so you get the best audio. Uh, and then that too will record great audio for you during the readings. Okay, so tip number two is all about outdoor ceremonies. If you want to capture audio of people doing readings during these ceremonies and you don't have many recorders available, what we recommend is take along a clipboard. We clip this, the Sony TX650, onto the top of the clipboard and then make sure that everybody who's doing a reading holds the clipboard as they do it. It means that you get perfect audio from everybody who speaks. And great happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. Loved for ourselves, and even loved of spite of ourselves. Okay, so tip number three. This is still a tip concerning outdoor ceremonies, but it's if you're filming on a windy day. Whether you're using a Sony TX650 or a Tascam with a lav mic, it's gonna be really windy and you're gonna get lots of rustly sounds on your audio. So what I re recommend you use is these, they're called Ryko undercovers. I'm actually wearing one now. It consists of a sticky little label that you put under your clothing, and what you have to do is you take the lav mic, you have to pull the cap off and you pull off the clip. You stick it to the underside of the clothing. You then put a fluffy bit. And when that's on, it will prevent any wind sounds on your audio. It's great for when you're filming on windy days. Okay, so tip number four. This is all about recording audio during the speeches. If you're at a venue that have a hand mic available, this is absolutely brilliant because what you can do is you can use a mic sleeve to attach your favorite recorder to your mic and record everybody who holds that mic during the speeches. So we've got a couple that we use here. We've got this one. This is for the Sony TX650, very popular recorder indeed. We just slide it into the small compartment of the sleeve, just like that. And then obviously make sure you press record at the beginning. And then you can slide it onto the main one and that's it, it's ready to go. Everybody who speaks is gonna get great audio. You're so beautiful, kind, funny and caring. And I feel the luckiest man in the world to stand here and call you my wife. If you've not got a Sony TX650, if you're going down the wireless route, there's a new one available for this, the Rode Wireless Go, and it's fantastic. Works exactly the same. Just clip the Rode Wireless Go in. And this one is very special because it's been designed to go at the bottom of the mic. So the reason you need it at the bottom is because the audio is very hot, it's very loud off this Rode mic. So by having it at the bottom rather than the top, it's the optimum distance away from the person speaking to get really nice audio. And finally, tip number five. This is also for the speeches, but if you're at speeches and the venue don't have a hand mic, this is another great solution. 
What we've got here is we've got a little table mic. This is a Manfrotto one and it's brilliant because it's got this button on the side. You press it in, you can quickly angle it however you need it. And what we've plugged into the top of it is the Rode Video Micro. You could also use one like this, the Rode Video Mic Pro. It doesn't matter which. You just plug it in, screw it on the top there, and we've got the Rode Wireless Go transmitter here. So all we do is we plug that into the input slot on the transmitter. We have the receiver plugged into a camera. You need to make sure it's a camera that's going to record constantly through the whole speeches. And that's it. Every time someone does a speech, you just need to quickly move this along the table, have it pointed towards the chest of the person who's speaking, and you're going to get great audio direct into the camera. Always use a backup still on top of the person, but this is a great audio that you can use for the whole speeches. You are a real credit to our family, and you look stunningly beautiful today. And this has been the best day of my life, and a great privilege to give you away. And finally, regardless of whichever audio recording method you use, always try to have one, preferably two backups running, just in case things go wrong. If you want links to any of the products I've spoken about in today's video, you're going to find them in the description area below. Please give us a like, give us a share. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section and hit that red subscribe button to stay up to date with all our videos we've got coming. Also, I just want to end by doing a massive thank you to Andrew from Yeldersley for letting us film here today. See you next time.